and as Gus sits next to my V8, because that's the uh, the drink of Harley riding champions, uh, we're gonna take you to the next part, which is uh, a walk around of the bike, part of my show and tell, and. Uh, some people may not know what I've done to the to the bike, or maybe don't care, so you can just click off now. But here we go. All right, so uh, this is a 2005 Road King Classic. This is fuel injected. It comes with a five-speed transmission, and uh, it has 88 cubic inches. The engine does the displacement. Uh, it's got something like 86 horse uh, 86 uh, foot pounds of torque. I don't know what the horsepower is. Not a whole lot. And let's see. Uh, stuff I've done. Well, this has the laced wheels, so this has a tube in it. it has the uh, wide white walls. Front is a Dunlop. I also I put uh, well the guy that owned it before me put these on to cover up the the nut area. <sighs> I haven't really done anything to the front except I did put a little bit of touch up paint right there because I bumped into a car once when I was new so did a little bit of damage there but anyway I also put on these visor rings and they kind of stick out almost like a baseball cap and same thing for the top and the same thing for the for the front so you got that there the guy that owned it before me uh, he put in these braided lines. Uh, he also put in this extra wide beach bar, which you can see there. It's pretty damn wide. I think a bike this size needs to have big beach bars like this. It's just my take on it. Uh, let's see, what else did the guy do before me? I think that was it, actually. The braided cables and the beach bar. And then those those things on the, on the wheel. Uh, I put on these. The uh, highway pegs with the heel rest. I recommend the heel rest for long riding. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, the guy, he, he put these on, too. These are Curie Aiken, as are those, so they match. I put on these little uh, things. Just went down to AutoZone and picked these up so I could see, you know, wide next to me. Same thing over there, and there's a little clock I put on. That's made in Japan, by the way. And... See, I put this on. This was on my original bike, my uh, 2003 Softail Standard. I took it off the bike and put it on this one. I bought it because the the one that was on here was dented. So I said, I'm not going to do that. Anything else? Uh, okay, moving on. I changed out uh, this obviously. So we got the skull and move down. I put the skull here too. It's kind of the uh, the theme. <laughs> I used the word motif in a previous video and somebody called me a fag. So, anyway, theme. Okay, how's that? Is that better? You put thought into your bike. You're a fag. Uh, this is the, uh, the uh, chromed out, uh, uh, what do you call it? God, I'm blanking on the name here. Oil filter. Thank you. Hello. Uh, this is the master cylinder or whatever for the brakes and I put the chrome on there too. And this here is the interface between the engine and the transmission. And I put that chrome piece on there. There's another one I can buy that will fill that empty space there. I might do that. That was already on there. Uh, let's see, I put this chrome piece in here for the oil. And these things here apparently are uh, what the guy who owned it before me did. I put that little doodad on there. I haven't put the other one on the other side yet. I've got to get off my lazy butt and do that. Uh, the... The original bike had a pipe that came down here, and I wanted the what they call the true dual, so I had a true dual, dual exhaust put in from uh, <laughs> Reinhardt. So looking pretty good. I put on the saddlebag guardrails. Took off the uh, reflective strip here to fit that, and I never really put the new ones back on. The bike is so shiny anyway, so. Uh, then we have here the Reinhardt pipes, and that's the end cap. The end cap is uh, not really that great because over time it'll it'll fade. It'll turn kind of this color. It'll get kind of pink and orange and all kinds of crazy stuff. So that's not too good. 
Then I put that little symbol on the back to cover up a scratch. There's my license plate. I really don't care. It's a vanity plate. Everybody sees it, so who cares? I did the visor thing on there, too. You can see. And anything else? Oh, yeah. Big old skull right there. On that side. Haven't done anything to the shift area yet. Just left it plain. And this side, I haven't really adorned too much. There's all kind of chrome things you can buy for this, too, but I haven't. I did put this on. This here kind of continues this all the way up to the top here. So, did do that. I put the extra loud horn on, which I really like. It sounds like a UPS truck now. Did that myself. And anything else? I think that's pretty much it. In North Carolina, we don't need this anymore. Now it's all electronic. So I don't need to have that on my bike anymore. I'll take that off eventually. And I think that's about all, folks. Oh, sorry, another thing. This is the sundowner seat. It is not the stock seat. So it's better for longer rides, although I still have tailbone issues. So that ain't good, but uh, it's better. I also put on this here. This hides the uh, lock for the steering column. Nice little chrome piece. And I think that's about it. All right, if I can think of anything else I did to the bike, I'll let you know. I haven't really done any mods on it. Oh, wait a minute. I just thought of one. So, the new tire is a uh, Metzler. You can see the tread is quite a bit different than the uh, Dunlop. I'll show you that in a sec. And I've gone to the, the forums on this, on the Harley forums, and they say that... Uh, Having two different brands of tires has not caused people many problems, so I'm happy about that. This is not a high-performance bike anyway. Oh, look at that! I did do this too. I put this chrome piece on down here for the belt guard. Yeah, yeah, put that chrome piece on. All right, let's take a look at the tread difference over here. Tread difference. You see the, the different lines here? Not a big deal, but we'll see how it rides. Alright, now it's time to clean my bike.